Fam review. Hey guys, World Eater here. Today we're going to be going over a fan favorite familiar that a lot of people hold close to their hearts. A very awesome, awesome familiar that we all know and love today. Some people still use them, if not for the memes, just because they love them. That fam is going to be... Shramps. Oh yeah, let's get on with it. So Shramps' base kit is going to be 30% block chance, which is not a crazy amount, but you gotta remember, this is a rare familiar that you can craft by tier 2. So, this is not gonna be the most extremely awesome familiar, but I promise you for beginning game, this is gonna be very, very nice. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what you guys need on Shramps. Please ignore the rarity of the augments like Legendary and Mythic, just pretend they're all rares. Um, right now, I can go ahead and show you real quick with some rares. I think I have some rares here saved up for this, actually. So, you're going to pretty much want all block chance on Shramps, and I don't recommend using anything better than rares. If you have epics already, go ahead and slap them on him. If you have legendaries for some reason already, go ahead and slap it on him as well. Commons are fine, but um, for the most ideal average player, you're going to want rare to epic pumps. Preferably rares, because you're not going to... Uh, be wanting to spend too much on epic pumps too early on in the game uh, That way you can get a variety of pumps that you need for all your familiars early on So block chance or damage reduction is all I recommend on shramps or the pumps down here We're gonna go ahead and go on to the chip the chip I only recommend damage reduction or heal power chips anything involving damage reduction or the heal power chip itself is okay do not use the shields with uh, healing abilities chip uh, just use um, damage reduction or heal power and that's only if that's all you have heal power wise you're only going to want to use damage reduction if you have that as a choice because you want your familiar to be as tanky as possible we're going to go ahead and go on to the brain augment now just pretend this is a common rare epic or legendary you're not going to have a mythic brain on shramps at the beginning of the game it is literally impossible i don't think it's possible to have a mythic brain on shramps by tier two so just pretend this is another brain um i'm only putting this one here because it's the only one i have of this type it's chance to spread heal and shield or so and so when you get hit that in my opinion is going to be one of the best brains for shramps anything involving when you get hit that involves a type of heal or shield is perfect you can use an offensive brain if it's all you have uh, you could also use it in pvp an offensive brain of course um, but offensive brains are a little more risky due to the fact that you have no real self-sustain other than one skill in your tree that's really not too common in your battle since shramps is very slow. So I highly recommend something that will help them with a little more sustain. Shramps is very, very dependent on heals early on in the game um, because he just can't cap out his block chance, unfortunately. He's just not strong enough for that. So... You just got to make sure that everything's good to go with your heals and this is the best way to do it by putting a defensive brain on there now for the the uh, bone augment i highly recommend this one right here you can also use redirect as another close uh augment to use in my opinion i would choose this one because early in the in the game when you're doing all those early tiers you're not really worried about getting anyone else nuked out like it's usually attack closest all the way through maybe tier six almost um you might have a few attack furthest you might have some attack target you can't really do anything about the attack target unless you have redirect now the only time i recommend slapping a redirect on him is if he's the last one dying and i don't recommend just having one skeletal lining a lot of people sleep on skeletal linings they only have like one or two in their arsenal you're gonna want to have a good variety of skeletal linings and by skeletal linings i mean this bone right here so make sure you guys stock up on these. Don't just get what you need. Get some extras for later on. You're going to want either this one, which is while below percentage health, heals received are percentage more effective, or redirect chance for shrimps. Those are the only good bones on shrimps. Okay? <laughs> there are some other ones that are decent, um, but those are the best ones, in my opinion, for the role he's trying to play. So let's go ahead and go on to the skills since we went over the augments. The skills are very, very basic. They have damage to the closest enemy, where he just smacks you with his little cane there. Spread heal teammates, which he just stomps his little cane. 
and deals damage to the furthest enemy, which is honestly a very nice ability for those niche scenarios where you just need to nuke out the back line. Uh, usually when you're doing fights like, let's say, with Candle Bros or something involving a heavy hitter in the back and you just want to nuke them out as quick as possible, sometimes more damage is better than self-sustain. And it's a good thing he has this in his kit because if you see the damage here, it does do a lot more than anything else he has on his kit. It does more than twice the amount of his um, zero SP. So it's a pretty good attack and it targets a very good area. You're not going to use it all the time, but when you do need it, it's good to have. Let's go and go on to the schematic. Very, very simple here. A rare fusion with two rare familiars, some rare material and gold. Let's start off from the back. You're going to need 5k gold each. You're going to need 50 rare material each shrimps, and you're also going to need two rare familiars. You're going to need shrimp, which I believe is in Dryad's Heart. Yep. Dryad's Heart. Let's go to the location. Tier 1. I will show you on the map so it's a little clearer for y'all. Bit Valley right here, which is the first zone. You're going to click this tree here. Dryad's Heart. You're going to only want to do Heroic since it has 200% capture rate. Everything else has less or none. And if you see here, double check, it is Tier 1. If you see here right under where it says Epic Body, it says Tier 1. Okay. So that's going to be for Shrump, I believe is the name. Oops. Shrump. Okay, we're going to go on to Gramps, which is another rare familiar. I believe they are in tier 2 or Blubber. Yeah, Blubber's Gutter. Go ahead and go on to here to see there that it says tier 2. Let's check out the map. Go to the map. Winter Marsh is going to be tier 2. We're going to click on the swampy looking area. Pretty much in the same location as the tree, just in the next area. It's going to say Blubber's Gutter. You're going to want to do Heroic for that 200% capture rate. We're going to check the loot drops to confirm that it is tier 2. Tier 2, Blubber's Gutter. And yeah, that's pretty much where you're going to farm everything you need for shrimps. Do I recommend stacking shrimps to 5 to be able to have the max possible stats? Of course I do. Do you need to? No. You can actually, let's actually go back to Shrimps real quick. And I don't recommend you do this all the time. It's only if you want to get started early. So for Shrimps, you see here I have him stabled five and I can use him. That means I have at least six Shrimps. But if you click on this, your pumps only go up to three. So essentially that means that you could get rid of two Shrimps, have one for use, three in the um the storage or whatever it's called the stable and you could still take um advantage of all of these right here for the three bonus that you're getting because rares can only go up to three bonus they can't go higher than three bonus so that's why it's so low that's why this mythic brain only procs 44 percent chance versus uh, its original percentage chance if it was a maxed out familiar maxed out familiars go up to five epics will go up to four i believe i'm not too sure they might go up to five or stay at three but but right now, we're just looking at this rare. Rares only go up to three. So you can essentially have three stabled with one to use and still take advantage of these bonuses, but you will have less stats. So the earliest you could start is with a three stable shrimps with one that you could use. Um, do I recommend that? Not really, but if you can get by with it while you farm other things and come back to the other ones later, that's perfectly fine. It just really depends how much of a hurry you're in and if you can replace shrimps faster than later, then that is perfectly fine. The content I recommend him in will be quests, early game. I've heard that he's had, I've heard stories of him going all the way to tier 16. I've heard stories of shrimps and Borland taking someone to tier 16. So that is amazing. Borland is going to be another familiar that we go over later in the future. So be on the lookout for that. Um, do I recommend him anywhere else than quests? Personally, no, if you can help it. But if he's all you got, you can try him in PvP. You can try him in Invasion. You can try him in Trials Gauntlet. But anywhere else, I would not recommend. Like Raid, highly recommend against. And I think that's the only other area. Uh, D4 Dungeons, which is going to be like these harder ones. I highly recommend against using him. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it. His main area where he shines is early game in quests. And he doesn't even shine too bright. But I'll tell you one thing. He's a pretty awesome familiar and he gets you as far as he can. He does so much for your team at the point of his release. So honestly, huge props to Shramps. He's a great tank. Thank you so much for stopping by on this video. I really, really do appreciate it. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you guys have any tips, leave them down there as well. 
honestly, you guys are amazing. I can't express how happy I am just to have a following like you guys. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for pretty much telling me what you guys want to see. I'll try my best to get more videos out that you guys recommend me make. So yeah, thank you so much for stopping by. This was World Eater. Have a great one. Peace.